Joey Cave, hi. Gav Heron. How you doing, Gav? Not bad, Stu. You've been a busy boy this uh, this summer, haven't you? Yep, we have. We've had a thing between myself, Jed, and Vaughan, who probably had about a day and a half off, and then we're back into it. So, no, it's, it's been really good. I've still got a holiday booked with my daughter, so I'm really looking forward to that. But as for the football club and recruiting and um, retaining players, it's gone really well in that sense. And uh, we've worked really hard um, between us and then with the chairman, totally supporting everything we've we've asked for and um, sitting down doing the, the detail and the deals for the for the players that we've one one retained and two. Uh, brings the football club. He's he's just fully backed and supported. So I'm a happy manager at the minute. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I mean, getting a good good core of players from last year must have been you know heaven sent really to 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 start team morale off in the right vein. Um, yeah, but you can say since I've been at the football club last couple of seasons, um, one of the main pulling points for myself, like I keep saying, was development of younger players when Jed sat down and said this is the vision this is what we, we want to do as a football club it was massive and I just feel it, it's we've identified a player a profile of player yeah um, and over the last two seasons we've kept a massive bulk of that recruitment and uh, like you say now we're in a position where and it is it's credit to, to the recruitment of the football club in bringing these players um, that we can sit back now and go, we've kept again 90% of the squad. Everybody knows the strengths and weaknesses. They know how we play. Um, and then identify again where we feel will improve to just also improve the first team and, and our position where we finished last year. So everything's working in, in the right direction. We're constantly moving forward. Um, and, and again, it's just a credit to the football club, the, the chairman, the board, the players. And the fans, it just shows that if we constantly keep improving or looking to improve and keep moving forward, we're going in the right, the right way. We're going in the right way, aren't we? Absolutely. You, you mentioned the profile of players because yeah. it's obviously it's great looking at stats on paper and all that sort of thing, but it's more than that for your job, there isn't it? You've got to make sure that, yes, the stats stack up, but how they are as a personality, which, which will fit in with the personalities that you've already got at the club. Yeah, definitely. And... And look, you won't fully know until you're working with each other, and um, it, it's it's just for me. It's you do a bit of research. You've got you've got to identify players. We do like, like you say, the younger. What we call it the hungrier player who's got that. But you also need that balance of experience. And over the last couple of seasons, we have been really fortunate having some really experienced players that understand that they may not play 40 50 games but what they do they're, they're, they're crucial in that dressing room and, and helping develop the, the players we have and the players two years ago who were 19 20 are now looking at 22 and they've got 50 60 appearances under the, their belt it, it's just putting us in good stead and uh, it, it, you're only as good as your last game you're as good as your last season so it's really important that we do on the 29th when we come back in we apply ourselves we try and correctly um, and we enjoy it and, and, and just try and hit the ground running on the 10th of August. Absolutely. Um, so let's look at what, you know, the retained players that we got from last year. We'll start off, we've got Callum Smith at the back. Yeah, yeah, we could, look, I think we could go through, we're being, oh, we're yeah, not yeah, talking, yeah, but, yeah. No, the, yeah. but massive, massive bulk of, not everybody within the squad, really. Yeah. Um, but like you say, Callum, and, it, and it's nice because it makes, my job easier in the sense of every player that is now signed wants to be a Stratford Football Club and um, I know Jed will have, have these conversations with the players regarding their deals but the starting of it all these lads want to be here and want to be a part of it and um, it, it, it is it's the environment that we're building uh, the facilities and whatever part of the career these guys are in it's um, a really nice place to be at and for the younger players who've got aspirations to go professionally back into the full-time game, you have to look at it. If you're not quite there just yet, where is the best opportunity or best facilities or best football club to be at? And I, I've put us up there with the best. I think out of the full-time game, there's not many better off the field. And uh, hopefully now we can start building it on the field. Obviously, uh, 
Not going to say that uh, we're, we're, we're done with our signings yet, because there's always opportunities coming uh, along with the phone and all that sort of thing, but uh, you must be very, very happy with what's assembled so far. Yes, definitely. And I know we probably can't say too much uh, yet, and in, in time they will be released, but um, I sit here now and, and it, it is looking, for me, really strong. And um, again, it's a credit to the football club, the team from last year to, to build what we've, we, we, we did and it's attracted players uh, to us and um, thanks to the chairman and the board of directors <laughs> to, to support what we asked for yeah. and, and get them here. So look, in, in due time they will be released. Um, it's really important that we've kept big, big nucleus of players that are bought into this football club and then the, the selective targets who we have gone for have all agreed so I'm, I'm really happy like I've just said there and um, it's, it's going to be it's going to be huge for the fans I think with how they followed us last year and for me how it, it grew each game and win, lose or draw they were here and it just shows that um, it's going to be good for those yeah. I'm hoping the signings have a positive I'm sure they will um, and it'd be nice to get everybody back down here on the Oh, through pre-season, but on the 10th, we can see a squad that will represent the town and, and the football club in the right way. Absolutely. We've got our traditional, you know, really strong football teams coming in for, for pre-season. But also, in the off-season, we've had a bit of work from Chris Hussey, hasn't he? He's sent a lot of uh, um, exercises in Yeah, so, uh, so for me, Hussey's been brilliant. I mean, um, and Vaughan, uh, we've, all, we've all worked together. But for Hussey, he, he's, he's, I've, been, I've given the role of... I need the um, the strength and conditioning program correct because, um, like you say, when you go high up, you do you get the the S and C coaches who are, are trying. And Hussey's been brilliant. I mean, he's, he not only is he been he's a fantastic player for this team. He's now bringing something that we haven't got, and he's gone away. And, and I mean, for me, the it's going to hurt. The boys are going to be it's going to be tough. But there's a, a purpose behind everything he's done, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to to get stuck into it from the 10th, uh, sorry, from the 29th. And um, yeah, he's done really, really well. And uh, hopefully you'll see a, a fitter Stratford Town team. Gav, you're looking well. Yeah. Best of luck, Thank mate. You. Cheers.